Hey everyone, Jamie Starr here for the New World News Network. Today I come to you asking for help. Not help for me, not help for Paul, but help for a friend of mine. A uh, friend who, when I was younger, um, let me just give you some backstory. First, when I first started going to shows, there was a local band, a guy I was in high school with, was a guitarist for the band. Um, I hadn't really gotten into the music scene yet, and uh, this friend of mine, Devin, introduced me to his other band members, this guy Joel being one of them, he was the singer, um, me and Joel kind of clicked, um, and it was always where, I mean, he was kind of like a big brother figure to me, I always looked up to him, um, you know, we sort of had a lot in common you know we would both sort of like analyze music the same sort of way really watch the front men and the mannerisms and like scientifically just sort of broke it all down and everything so you know i was a fan of their band his following band um when i wasn't old enough to get into certain shows and certain clubs he gave me his old id so i could you know go out with the guys and everything um we had bands together um, and then most importantly, and probably the biggest thing was when I was being a shitbag rebellious youth and my mom had kicked me out and I needed a place to stay. Joel let me stay with him. He had a house on the other side of the river. He let me stay there. Um, didn't really ask for anything from me until he had, uh, him and his girlfriend at the time had got me hooked up with a job. And once I was on my feet, then, you know, I started contributing and everything like that. But I mean, he just really looked out for me, supported me, took care of me when I needed it. He's an amazing person. Um, and so he's been put in a really rough spot and uh, friends of his has set up a GoFundMe. And even as the friend has said in the GoFundMe, this is another similarity me and Joel have. Um, neither of us are very big on asking for help. Um, but if help is given to us, we won't turn it down. Um, as so you see here, yeah, let's just go to the top of the articles now that I've given you a little backstory. But I mean, amazing person, talented artist, good hearted person. I mean, it, this person really means a lot to me. And that's why I'm here showing this to all of you, because, you know, I get these these pages uh hit me up saying you know oh i want to start up a channel could you donate to my patreon which i mean i respect that people are crowdfunding to get equipment and everything like that i've been doing this for over a year now and we still don't have a patreon i haven't really asked you guys for anything i ask you guys for help finding articles um some of you guys have helped me hook up interviews and everything like that but as far as a monetary thing I, me and Paul do this because we love it. Um, the money is a secondary thing. So rather than ask you guys for money for us, I'm asking you now if you can give a donation to this GoFundMe page, and it would mean a lot to me, so much to me. Um, because if I could just out of my own pocket pay for all of this, I would. Because that's essentially what he did for me at a time when I needed it. So. I can't do that monetarily, but I can come to everyone else and tell you why this person deserves all the help in the world. So, as you can see here, um, on Monday, July 3rd, he was in an accident while on his moped. His bike was wrecked and he broke his clavicle. He had surgery on Friday, 7 7 to fix the clavicle on the following. Thursday, 7-13, he was in a lot of pain, felt like his throat was closing, so he went to the ER. After being in the ER for a few hours, his throat almost closed completely, and they had to put him on a ventilator. He developed a very serious strep infection and almost died. The doctors decided to place him into a medically induced coma. Joel works full-time, however, he's a bartender, so unfortunately, if he's not working, he's not getting paid. He has insurance, unfortunately, like most of us. His health insurance has high co-pays and deductibles between bills associated with the initial accident, subsequent surgery, and now the complications, strep infection, ventilator, coma. Joel is going to be in a very tough place financially. He's too proud to ask for it himself, <clears throat> but I'm hopeful that we can all chip in, even if it's just 5 or $10, and to help out our friend Joel. 
Um, whether you can or chip in or not financially, you can be a huge help by sharing this page on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, sharing it by email. Um, and then just FYI, Joel's in Asheville, North Carolina. A lot of us, myself included, are in upstate New York receiving info and updates from text. Um, and this page will be updated with the info regularly. I'm going to have this page posted in the description below. Um, again, if you can't donate on your own, sh you can share it. Um, I have people in the upstate New York area. In fact, when I was at work today, my boss asked how I was doing. I said I was good, but I had some bad news about a friend of mine. And while I was explaining this, I was saying, saying it to my boss in front of a friend of my boss. That friend has now said she's going to come back and give me a cash donation to add to my donation. And I've asked a, another handful of friends in the area. I'm gathering donations from a handful of people with cash, and we're all just going to submit it on here. It's one big one. Probably this weekend, maybe next weekend, if not, two donations. So if anyone in my area, the New York upstate area, has seen this, if you were a fan of any of his bands, Thrown Aside, Face Breaker, Last Dance Before an Execution, any of those, and you want to submit something, here's the page. Like I said, I'm taking cash from the local area, and it would really just mean a lot to me. If you don't have money, please share the page. I can tell you, things are, it's doing well. It says the campaign is trending. And when I saw this this morning before I went to work, there was maybe 2,000 some odd dollars. Now it's up to 3,000. Um, so money is coming in. But again, you're talking about someone who is out of work for a while, has expenses, is going to have the medical expenses and everything like that. So as much as we can get, we'll be you know just whatever you can give please do it's for a good cause for a good person i will owe you from the bottom of my heart and it would honestly mean so much to me for everyone to help out this person so that's why i'm here asking this of you now and um again the links will be below um and that's really all I have to say on this one. So again, thank you to anyone who can help out. Thank you to anyone who can share the links. It will be greatly appreciated.